welcome back. This is Bella's Cup an episode of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I'm joined, as always, by Loki. Loki has been doing some level grinding today. Uh, he's been he's been busy. Uh, he is now up to level 29. Probably still a little under leveled, believe it or not. Uh, there's his HP, MP, and all his stats. In case you're curious, uh, in terms of jobs, I have put. 20 points into Thief, and I have the remaining 8 in Random. I'm going to get Random up to level 10. Now, I have been working exclusively on the Nux when it comes to level grinding for now. I might move on to do the Spirits a little bit later, but for now, I feel happy with just the uh, physical damage. That is working out very well for me. We're still in Minos Village. We need to talk to people during the day to... Uh, right now, I should say. Honestly... Yes, yes he is. He has been a pain. Totally. He's like, oh, uh, heretics. And I'm like, oh, whoa, dude, chill. Uh, what if I say no? No, he's pretty cool. Totally. He's like gone all mental. Grown-ups are always so stressed out. She pretty much didn't listen to me either way. She ran toward Jaws. She seemed kind of funny. Of course. Of course. Yes, the stray monsters are a pain in the butt. Here's a tip. Monsters each have a sense that lets you know, lets, lets them know where you are. Remember who has what. Sight, smell, and hearing. Some react to magic and others to physical power. Give it your best shot. Does he say anything different? If I say no. Give it your best shot. <laughs> okay, the man who fell out of the sky was carried over into Amanda's house. Something's not right. Something's not right at all. What is up, little girl? Girl. Magic range depends on the weapon you're using. How come I know that? I learned it in school. Everyone learns that maybe you got bad grades. Maybe I didn't go to school. Not all of us have fancy book learning like you do. You'll find a huge cannon. If you go inside it, it'll send you flying. <laughs> That's typically what cannons do. But as a result of talking to all those people, we do have a few new notes. Uh, I don't remember when we got stamina, but here is stamina. I don't remember getting that. We might have just gotten that just now. Monster senses, that's definitely what we just got. Day viz detects foes during the day. Dark viz detects... No, foes at night, smell, hearing, magic, life. Detects foes low on HP. How wonderful. Monsters can sense enemies. Some may have main and sub sensory abilities. Right. That's what we went over before. Now we also have magic tra trajectories. Wow, I cannot speak today. Magic trajectories. There we go. Uh, we've gone over this before. Basically, if you have a magic and... Uh, well, I like the bow simply because it can actually shoot a somewhat of a long distance. And is that it? I think that is all that we have learned. Yeah, the rest uh, here are pretty, pretty obviously uh, the spirits. So we will get those a little bit later on. God, there's so many monsters I need to fight as well. Uh, basically, the purpose of level grinding here, just like the last time I did level grinding, was all in search of one very important item. That important item is, of course, the glittering armor. An unequippable, shiny gold armor. I will be giving that to the guy that wanted it. I heard he forgot who it was, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but I do know we need to go back to the blacksmith for something. It's not Vega, right? There it is. Glittering armor. I'll buy it off you for 200 lucre. Her, sure. Go ahead and take it. I think I'll rest a bit. Then head to Gronz's. If you think you can hack it, why don't you apply too? And that is the end of the quest for him. Delmar we are not going to be doing for quite some time. We need quite a few of the trait coins in order to get that done. Now, I do believe that there's actually a few more things that we can do during the day. Right, we don't have any uh, arrow light. Arrow light is uh, very, very hard to find. We'll probably get that at the end of the game. Yes, he used to be able to dance a jig. Very good for you, grandfather. We need to head over here. We don't. 
but you'll notice that during the day things have changed a little bit. Now they have moved what, whatever you call this over here instead of over here. So now I have access to this treasure chest which has a crooked seat in it. Nothing too spectacular. Right. I have definitely spoken with you before. Uh, no. I will not change the desert into a forest. That is not one of my capabilities. And then, that's the blacksmith. I believe there is somebody new at the inn now. It has been a while. It's been a while. The altar of time that was built by the Malvolos. Yes, we have spoken with you. And then we have spoken with you. I swore there were more kinds of physical attacks in this game, but I guess there are just three. Either way, I go over. It took me a while just to get to my feet. <laughs> Poor Toma. Poor Toma. Anybody up here? There is somebody up here. Oh, that's the same guy that we talked to before. We already completed his quest. And I think that's pretty much it here for Minos Village. I think we are ready to move on. Let me just double check this residence. There is nobody here just like I thought. So we are ready to move on. Let's head out of here. And you can see an obvious treasure chest up here. And these are the douches that I've been fighting this whole time. This, this is how you get the glittering armor. Taking on these guys. These are re rebellions? I believe it's just rebellions. But you'll notice that I have a death blow prepped. That's because with the Nux equipped, they do have one of my favorite death blows. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Go! How? Yes. Use, I don't want to say a Kamehameha because I think Kamehameha is a red, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. It's been a while, but I swore Kamehameha Mayas were red. Uh, we do have a new option from time to time on this... Um, on this ring and that is a polter chest uh, that is an option that we can get on um, the ring from now on what is in this treasure chest we can get a forcina iron a polter chest works very very similar to mimics uh, basically uh, they take over the treasure chest and start attacking you now uh, more rabbites or, sorry rebellions yeah, it looks like it. Let me take care of these guys. All right, I was able to get all but one of them right now. So let's just head over here and grab a baobab wood. I don't know how to say it. Baobab? Baobab? I'm not exactly sure when it comes to that. I have been getting a lot of those particular items uh, from the Rebellion uh, for, for a while. God. I also got an elephant tusk out of uh, one of the... Um, one of the polter chests. Uh, Minos bronze, we've seen irons, we have seen those. Oak wood, and now we have a bio, baobab wood, wood. I think that's how you say it. Baobab. Animal hides we had before. Okay. Wait, what is with that down arrow? Am I missing something here? Down. Yes, we also have the marble. So, there's a limit to how many things can be on one of the rings at a time. Apparently, it is eight. Eight at a time, I guess. Okay, that is a lot of menus to go through. We need to head up here. And we can grab this treasure chest over here. It's kind of hidden. You get a flat seed out of there. Now, if I remember correctly, we need to jump up here. There we go. And we can kill this guy. Easy enough. Easy enough. Is he going to drop something good? He better... Something good. Anything but the glittering stuff. I don't see the poultry chest on there anymore. And for this we get a gumdrop. Very, very nice. Well, not really. I have a ton of gumdrops that I'm not using. Alright, a couple easy things here. But first, oh, let's receive a dark geode that I didn't even know. So I was going to take care of that later. Uh, I was going to swing my flail. But there it is, the dark geode. We picked up the shiny yet again. Alright, down goes uh, the imp. That that guy's name is. Ow. Okay. No. Nope. Up. Uh, no. Seriously. Let me back up. Why? Why won't you let me back? Are you kidding me? Wh what the hell? All right. Let me grab this one here. Give me a long seed. I can't go back up the way that I came. Are you sitting? 
What the hell, game? Seriously, what the hell? Alright, can I just jump down here? Okay, so at night the imps uh, do come out. They are just imps. Let's head back the way that we came. What the hell is that? Why wouldn't you let me back up here so I can grab... What is it? It's forcing iron, so it was worth it. Iron is always nice. Let's jump down here. Unfortunately, it looks like this is a one-way road from now on. And let me finish these guys off. All right, it looks like that's everything on screen here. Oh, nope. One more. One more in. He is easy enough with the flail. So let us grab the treasure chest and give me something good there. That one on the top left there. That is the... Uh, polter chest. I have a hard time saying that, and I don't know why. Polter chest. It sounds weird to me. It sounds weird. Just weird. All right, let's ignore these guys for now. I've been killing enough for billions for now. Let me grab this chest and get another Minos bronze. And now I believe that is it. So I can head. Is it south out of here? No. Looks like I'm gonna have to backtrack my way uh, the entire way back. To uh, Minos Village. So, how you do that is you head to the left over here, and just straight across this way, and down through here. This is all optional up here. Uh, so, I will save once again at the Mana Goddess statue, and I'll be right back. Actually, it looks like I have missed a side quest. I forgot about this one, to be honest with you. We need to talk to Toma some more. Finally, it's been a good life, no complaints, but I guess there is one thing. This is the third time I've talked to him, I believe. It's too late now. No, second time. There we go. Third time, you need to talk to Toma three times. Way, way back, I committed a crime. I stole the black mask, the dud bear's treasure. I know I'm ailing now because of that misdeed. I suppose I better wipe the slate clean. Would you take the black mask back to the dud bears for me? Yes, I will. Thanks. It's been a long time since I saw them. I don't know where they are now, but give them my best. We've already seen them, uh, so we know where they are. They're at the abandoned mine still. Uh, here is uh, the black mask, an eerily carved wood mask. Very, very nice. So I will be going there eventually. Um, there's no time limit on this one, and the uh, the abandoned mine's pretty much a ways out of my way. So I will be heading back there eventually, just not right now. Now we have done everything finally that we can do in Mino. So we need to s head south out of here, and in here we find the prickly desert with a hot house. Now we have completed either one or two quests here, so let me go ahead and talk to Little Cactus a couple times and I'll meet you right back inside here.